So get yourself a good book on seed saving. There's a lot to learn about the different types of seeds and how to harvest and when to harvest and how to do it. So tomatoes are another seed that needs uh, fermentation to separate the seeds from the flesh. And one of the reasons is um, the cells surrounding the seeds have a growth inhibitor on it. So by fermenting it, it breaks down that cell wall and it, the seed will be dislodged from the surrounding flesh. So we're gonna set these uh, in a warm place for two to three days. And then we're gonna rinse and the seeds that sink are viable. The ones that float, they're gonna float away. I finally found a use for these spare jars. I'm gonna store these in jars without a lid on them open so they can ferment. But you notice that I separated the two, the two types of seeds and I'll label the jars and when I save the seeds out, label them as well so we know what variety we have. I have a heart-shaped aroma. So it's been a few days. Let's see how we did with our tomato seeds. Washed away all the gunk, this is what I was left with. It doesn't really look like any of them are uh, floating, so I'm going to save all of these as viable. I'm going to pour off this water from the other one as well. You see? doesn't look like we have floating seeds here either. So the next step is to dry out the seeds. I have coffee filters that I'll put them on. I'm a little busy today. These are going to be the heart shaped. And these will be the Romas. I'm going to put them in a coffee filter. It's a little cool and breezy outside, so I'm just going to set these in the house in a warm spot, let them get some air. And let them dry out. But you can see um, I didn't have to pry these seeds away from the flesh of the tomato. Just by letting them ferment for a few days, they did it all on their own. And once they're dried out, I'll label them and store them and we'll have another crop next year. What's better than that?